Hey everybody, Jake here from Client Time Photography. What's going on? So today we are going to be getting rid of our rack and our road shower. But before we did that, I wanted to give you guys a quick little rundown of what we thought about the road shower 4S. Now this is the aluminum road shower 4S. Uh, I think it's like 47 gallons. Um, it's got a, we did a little bit of modifications to it. We put a valve on this side and then another valve on that side. We'll kind of talk about that in a little bit. And then it's got our fill point right here. I think it's like a radiator cap pressure. Um, I think it, if it goes, it gets, this tank gets charged above like 35 PSI. This is a pressure relief valve. And then it's got a little fill port over here that you just use with the air compressor or whatever. Now, thoughts. Did we like it? We actually liked it. We used it a lot. Um, it worked really good. The water was always warm, especially because what we would try and do is fill this up and then we drive around throughout the day tank would heat up heat up the water it had a temperature gauge right over on this side and it worked pretty good and uh, got the water really nice and warm so by the time we used it at the end of the day the water was usually pretty warm and it was nice now um as far as pros we'll talk about yeah kind of that so we talked about how the water four to seven gallons that's a lot of water plenty of water for usage it would warm it up um uh, it's also sturdy, it's made of aluminum, so you don't really have to worry about it breaking, rupturing like a plastic bag or plastic tank or anything like that. Um, so those are the pros. The cons. Uh, usually when people have these, they mount them up high on their on the rack. This obviously was mounted on a roof rack, which this roof rack was mounted on the shelf. So the problem with that is you have four to seven gallons of water up top. Now when you're off-roading, we would do some obviously in the truck and it would swash around we i could feel the water in this thing sloshing around up top so it would slosh around a little bit and kind of um kind of teeter the truck a little bit because you have let's say seven let's say it's seven gallons seven times eight water weighs eight pounds a gallon so that's uh 56 pounds give or take i think if i'm doing that math, correct, math correctly so 56 pounds and that's not including the tank itself so that's another thought. Problem number two was if this tank is off camber at all, the water will go to one end or the other. So if, for example, this end was up, all the water would be down here, if that makes sense. So you kind of almost had to put a valve in each end because if you weren't level exactly, you weren't gonna get all of your water flow. So essentially what you have to do is if this end is up, you use this valve. If that end is up, you use that valve because then you're, not, you're also getting the max amount of water out of this tank that you could possibly have. Um, another con I would say is filling. Filling is kind of a pain in the butt, especially when you're in a hurry. Um, you have to put you know, the water in, which this is mounted usually on top of your roof, so it kind of be kind of hard to get to sometimes, depending on where you're at. So if you're you know, having to take a water jug and bring it up here and fill this up and everything like that, it can kind of be a little cumbersome. The other thing too was once you put this cap on, you also then have to pressurize it. Now we at, on the truck only have an air compressor. So I would have to get a big water jug, come up here, fill this up, then I'd have to get my air compressor out, hook that up, and then come up here and fill this up as well. So it did take a little bit of time. So, but that would be one of the other cons as well. So if you're looking at buying a similar product or something similar to this, just know about that. Know about those pros and cons. And uh, if you had any other personal experiences with this, I just personally wanted to let you know that's kind of what our thought process was. We were moving away from this. We want to be able to basically get our water storage low to the ground as possible and down towards the bottom of the truck. You know, I, our water storage now is all the way down basically the floorboard of the truck and then we use it. we're going to be using a shower bag now instead just so we can keep this water off top of the truck so that's kind of my quick little review of it those are my thoughts on it it was a good product uh, we, we did like it it does have mounting points you know you can either mount here on the bottom or it has the rails where you can mount on the sides depending on your usage but it does have its limitations if you're going to be doing off-roading again think about those weights and trying to keep them down low but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little review of it. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions or what, what your other thoughts or anything else was, please let me know. And I'll talk to you guys later.